Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat, I'm Bava, and I'm getting ready to do another M14 Swiss Draft. And um, it's been a little while, so hello again. Um, I get to do these generally about once to twice a week, usually on Tuesday and Wednesday evenings. So that's why it's been a while since I did 48 and 49. Um, so it might not be a very big spoiler at this point that I 3 0 both of those. Uh, I've since 3 0 two more Limiteds <clears throat> um, since then. So I've got a pretty good run on M14 Limited right now. And I would like to keep that going, even though it's been about a week. Um, this pack, Zathrid Necromancer, is good. we got some more good black, white, and blue cards we're going to keep an eye out for. I don't like Elite Arcanist in Limited. He's uh, an invitation to two-for-one yourself. Um, <clears throat> what do I like? Trained Condor, Master of Diversion, um, maybe we go with Black Blue or Black White. I tend to pick White a lot because I feel like it's underpicked and I'll be able to get better cards from it, where I feel like Blue is overdrafted and uh, I'll have a harder time getting good cards because I'll be fighting with more people over Blue just naturally. I don't know if that's correct necessarily. Um, but I have the Zathrid Necromancer and between the two of these Master of Diversion is a human. Um, so maybe I'll grab this guy for now. Train Condor is really good. Um, but Master, I like Master of Diversion. It worked really well for me recently. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so what do we have here? If we're sticking with white, we do have Celestial Flare. It's a pretty good piece of removal. <clears throat> we're seeing Advocate of the Beast. We're also seeing Pitch Burn Devils. So it could be worth going into red for Pitch Burn Devils. Over Celestial Flare. Yeah. Well, we're probably going to get a lot of humans in white maybe a few in black. There's no other humans here. I'm not too worried about that necessarily. The Necromancer will probably just get killed anyway. Um, but I'm worth seeing where this is going to go. So we'll take the... Alright, we'll take the Devils here. So I think it's the best card in the pack and see where we're going to end up. Alright, so we have a Corrupt, which is a Six mana removal at worst, and at worst that's not too bad. Um, there's also a Child of Night and an Angelic Wall. I think I'll just go ahead and take the Corrupt here. It could be in really heavy black and that would be great. Um, and the Blightcaster could keep us in black pretty happily. And then we would need some enchants and so we'd be like a, maybe a black white enchant deck. <clears throat> Um, and that would be cool too. But let's keep taking black and try and keep other people out of black as much as possible. All right, so we have the Stonehorn Chanter here, or the Charging Griffin. He might actually wheel. The only reason I would take the Stonehorn Chanter over the Griffin is to see, since I'm already in black white, to see if I could get the Angelic Renewal deck going, and he can support that. But he's a little clunky in supporting that, because he's 6 mana to cast and then 6 mana to activate, which pretty much means that you're not doing anything else. So not totally where I want to be. So I think the Charging Griffin's the much better card right there. Let's get these sorted a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got a Capuchin Knight. Eh, we've got the Undead Minotaur. I did mention I want to be pretty heavy in black if I can. I want to take as many good black cards as possible. Um, that said, here I will take the Angelic Wall. The other choice would be the Elixir, again, for the Angelic Renewal deck. Um, but the Wall is better in most circumstances. We haven't seen a Renewal yet. We don't have one. We may not see one. So. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, 
we'll just take the abomination here. There's good blue cards coming around. Um, I say good. I mean, Frostbust Breath is playable, but it's not good, really. <clears throat> okay, so Hive Strings versus Altar's Reap. Um. There are decent slivers that we can see that Hive Strings would support. I prefer it to Alter's Reap um, in a lot of ways. Um, so we'll just take that. All right. Blightcaster is looking pretty dead so far. We have zero enchantments. Hopefully we'll see some come around. All right, so what came back? Vial of Poisons, no good. Voracious Worms, no good. Fortify, Fortify is playable. It's the only card there that even fits in our deck at all. And it could very well make the final cut, too. Um, I like a Fortify to keep our creatures alive or to get in that last bit of damage that you need to get in. <clears throat> um, if we're Heavy Black, Staff of the Death Magus could come in. We'll see. Probably not, but you never know. Um, Siege Mastodon or a combat trick. I think we'll take this show of valor and do that. All right. We're pretty even between black and white. Grim Return. Mm. I don't like Grim Return that much. I do like a Cursed Spirit. There's a Chandra's Outrage there. And we could, uh, we could ditch white. What do we have? Master, there's another Master of Diversion. There's the Accursed Spirit. Here's the Grim Return. Alright, I want to take I really want to take the Accursed Spirit. I don't want to wield the Chandra's Outrage. We already have the Pitchburn Devils. Um, what do we have in white that's really good? I guess I'm happy enough taking the Accursed Spirit that I can bend the Outrage. But I'm not super excited about it. Corpse Hauler. Blah, blah, blah. Fire Cap, blah. Alright, so our colors suck in this pack. We hate the Howl of the Night pack from Green Mage. We take the Dark Steel Ingot. Patient Knight, Corpse Hauler. I think we just take the Corpse Hauler here. I don't like any of this other stuff that much. <clears throat> Pange Staff. Aura Mancer. We still have no auras. We're going to have to grab some at some point, right? What else do we have? We have nothing. Um, so we'll grab the Aura Mancer here. Pretty miserable. We'll take the Child of Night. We're not seeing much though, really. Hard red, celestial flare. Train condor this late. Is blue really that open? <clears throat> blue and red seem open. Black and white seems sort of picked through. But it could just be the value of the cards. It's a hard way to tell. But we have an Awaken the Ancients and a Marauding Maulhorn coming around. Um, and the Maulhorn here. I don't know. Celestial Flare is good for our deck. But I don't know how far we're going to get with this black white theme.
could just be that I committed too early. I don't want to do <clears throat> messenger trade this late. Griffin Sentinel, there's another Oromancer. We don't have the enchantments for that. I think we just take the Griffin Sentinel. Oh, well, this is an enchantment. It's kind of a, it's a horrible enchantment, though. I'm not going to play Blessing just because it's an enchantment. I'll take the Griffin Sentinel here. <clears throat> Molten Birth. Look at all those red guards. All right. I'll take a dark favor. Play that, right? Alright, nothing time is playable. Who do we want to hate? The red mage or the blue mage? <clears throat> Stop someone from getting a treason coming around. Stop someone from getting a seismic stomp coming around. Striking sliver. This is where it's all going to work out for us in pack three. I have much faith. There is a Banisher Priest, and a Corrupt, and a Blood Baron, and a Death Gaze Cockatrice. There's also a Shock, an Axe of Treason. <sighs> I think we want the Banisher Priest, but maybe I just take the Corrupt. Priest is pretty good. Corrupt is pretty rad, though. <clears throat> okay. I'm taking the Corrupt here over the Banisher Priest. Holy crap. Sarah Angel, as much as I would love this quag sickness, and it's really good. All right, I'm gonna take the quag sickness, mainly because I want to be as strong and black as I can be. So someone's gonna take that Sarah Angel, or not. There's also a Water Servant. There's good cards in this pack. Um, some of this removal is going to benefit me, I think, quite a bit. <clears throat> um, the Accursed Spirit I like here more than anything else. There's the Mark of the Vampire or the Pacifism. I think we take the pacifism over the mark. I like the mark. Mm. All right, we take the mark over the pacifism. The pacifism is not going to come back into our master. I got a human. Right. I stop 
paying attention to my humans. I should have paid a little bit more, maybe. Grab a mind rot. Steel form sliver. Vampire warlord. Double corrupt. If we could just make mostly black and splash a little white, that'd be good. Sentinel sliver, or I'll take a blood baron here. the solemn offering for the sideboard. That pacifism, of course, is never coming back. I have a lot of three drops here. Sundale Hawk, a Demolish, and a Forest. All right. We've got some cards to pick from here. I want to probably tone down the white cards as much as possible and really try and emphasize uh, our black cards. We're going to tone down white. Celestial Flare gets kicked out pretty quickly. Those. <clears throat> God, Charging Griffin's pretty damn good. Leave it in here for now. Ring Flesh sucks. Altar's Reap. Now we pick for a Blood Baron Mind Right. Mark. Warlord's okay. Corrupt, corrupt. Abominations. Alright. This actually looks pretty good. Um, we have what? We have Dark Favor, Mark, and Quag Sickness. Not a lot for the enchantment side of things for a double aura mancers. Um, <clears throat> now I guess we could try to take out one aura mancer and get the celestial flare. Strictly a better card. Um, maybe show a valor is celestial flare that doesn't cost double weight. Not quite. 
quite as good. If we pass some good white cards, someone else is obviously in white. We're going to have a hard time. Um, <clears throat> I think I got stuck on some color ideas. I probably should have gone into red because it seemed pretty damn open. Instead of blue for that matter, which is weird. So my plan worked against me. All right, but we'll try this. I like the double corrupt, of course. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Guess 13 swamps is enough. No, we'll get our one planes. That's all we need. We'll try that. Alright. Man, this isn't super exciting, but maybe it's going to work out. Um, Sometimes all you need to do is throw a Mark of the Vampire on an Accursed Spirit, and you win. Sometimes it's really not that easy. Man, these guys are humans too. I kind of shut down some of my vampire. That guy's a human. Vampires, these are zombies. But humans, there's a Capetian Knight and another Oromancer. They're both humans. That's it. Alright, well, I've got a handful of humans. Not really paying off on that Zathrid Necromancer. And I don't know if this is going to get where I want it to go. But I think it's worth a shot. So I'll see you guys in round one.